my Glamsters. I'm coming on today to show you how to take these items that we have right here and we're going to turn them into these. So if you want to see how your girl took these items that we have here and turned them into those lovely trays, we got to keep on watching. And you know what time it is now. It's time to let's get started. All right, everyone, we have our tray here, which I got from Dollarama. If you're over here in Canada and we are going to take some silver acrylic paint and we are just going to paint our tray. Now you know you can get any kind of tray from any um, craft store or any dollar store <laughs> or you could even use an old tray that you have at home and you want to spruce it up and give it a different look. Any tray will do fine. So I'm going to place one coat, uh, one or two coats I'm going to place over this tray. I will see after it's dry or if you don't want to use paint you could easily use spray paint and spray the trays. And now our tray is all dry. So we are just going to add our mirrored tiles, which I got from Amazon. And I'll be using some E6000 to put our tiles down, going right around the outside of our tray. Hello everyone. You know it's Petal is Blessed here. I'm just saying hello. And if you're new, it's your first time here, welcome. And I hope you will hit that subscribe button and press the bell. So you can become part of our Glamster team. Yeah, and like I said, ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another DIY to share with you. I love sharing how you can make glam items for your home using low items on a budget, dollar store items, thrift items, any little thing that you can find that's on the low, glam it up, make it look very expensive, and have it for your home. So now that we finished the mirror tiles, I'll be adding this bling chain from BB Craft going right around the outside of the tray again, just above where our tiles are. Yes, going all the way around, just glamming up our tree. You know I love, I love, I love the bling. I love nice things and I like sharing with you how you can make nice things just as I do. And now we are going to be adding some more bling just to the bottom part of our tray right here. And now we'll be adding some more strips to the side because the mirror tiles didn't go quite to the corners. So we're just adding some more of our glam chain. <laughs> and now we are going to add some smaller mirror tiles to the inside of our tray. These strips, sorry, these mirror tiles I also got from Amazon. Yes. <laughs> I like them. They're a little smaller than the ones that I placed on the outside, but they are cute. <laughs> so I'm just measuring them out into our tray and then I'll be taking them up and laying them down. Now the adhesive on the back is very good. I like how it's flat on the tray bottom. It's okay. I don't need to have no E6000. Just the adhesive that they come with is good enough. And now it's time to add my favorite gems. Oh boy, my gems from Totally Dazzled. You guys, you know I love them. I absolutely love them. So I am going to add one on each side of my tray. Yes, doesn't that look good? OMG, so I'm gonna put the other one on the other side. All right, my Glamsters, now it's time for our number two tray. DIY tray number two, yeah. <laughs> and on this one, I'll be using some silver and some gold glitter, and I'm going to be mixing them with the Mod Pod. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix the two glitters together. And then we're going to apply them to our tray. Okay, I'm going to be applying our glitter mixture to the inside of the tray and around the top part <laughs> and just slightly on the outside of our tray. And like I said before, slightly on the outside of our tray, not all the way down to the bottom, but halfway down, <laughs> halfway down our tray on the outside. And then we're going to set it aside to dry for a few hours. Okay, now our tray is all dry. 
with the glitter. <laughs> I'm going to be placing some of our glam ribbon from BB Craft, <laughs> our gold and silver bling ribbon, <laughs> and I'll be using some E6000 to apply it down to our tray. And I will be applying it all around the outside of our tray near the bottom. That's why I didn't put the glitter all the way down. So I flip it over and I'm going to apply the E6000 because the hot glue will melt this ribbon. Yes, because it is a plastic based ribbon. So that's why I'm using the E6000 and I'll just be using a little hot glue at the very beginning to help hold it in place. And we're going to go right around our tray. And now we're going to add some mirror tiles to the top of our tray. And I'm just measuring them out and now I am just going to use a little E6000 on them and add them to our tray. And I'll be going right around the tray with the mirror tiles on top. And now I'm just going to use some scissors and cut out this little piece that we have here with our bling wrap because it's covering up the opening of our tray, the handle part. So just clip the two sides and then I'll be just gluing it down. So here is our tray. I put the mirror tiles inside. I didn't bother show it to you because I did with the first silver tray. It's the same procedure. So now we are going to add some more of our bling chain from BB Craft to the top part of our second tray. So I'm just measuring it out, cutting the strips using some E6000 and just laying it onto our tray. And with the E6000 you have time to just straighten out the tray because it doesn't dry right away, which is nice. And again, you can use any adhesive that you would like to use to glue down your project. I use the E6000. And just like the other tray where the mirror did not meet the corners, I'll just be adding some little tiny strips of our bling chain into the little corners here. Hey my Glamsters, here is our finished trays. I love how they turned out. They look nice and elegant. See how easy it is to take simple items, glam them up, <laughs> and turn them into lovely decor pieces for your home or a gift for a loved one. I think they look very nice and I love this gold one here with the gold and silver. I like the two metals mixed together. I think it looks absolutely lovely and I will have a link to BB Craft and a link to Totally Dazzled down in the description box so you guys can go down there, click on the two sites and get some glam items to help freshen up your home. Yes. <laughs> I think they look absolutely beautiful. I love the glam gems from Totally Dazzled. Absolutely beautiful. And like I told you, I put one on this side and I placed one on the other side. So both sides of the trays have the bling gem on them. I think it looks so nice. And here is our gold tray with a bit of decor in it. I don't have very much gold decor, you guys, so. I didn't have much to display, but I think I did a good job. <laughs> it looks lovely, absolutely lovely. You could place it in your on your table like I did. You could place it in your bedroom. Yes, you could place it on your coffee table, your entryway table, anywhere your heart desire. This tray will look absolutely beautiful. And here's where I placed it with the silver tray. Doesn't it look nice? <laughs> I think the silver one looks beautiful also. Like I said, a lovely decor tray you can place anywhere in your home to help spruce it up. I love how both trays turned out. 
I think they look glam and nice. Very nice from the jewelry trays that they were in the beginning. Remember how they looked? <laughs> I love how they turned out now. And I must confess, I love the gold one most of all. Now you know I am a silver girl, my favorite color, but this gold one has me away. It does. I absolutely love it with the gold and silver. <laughs> And yes, yes, the silver is nice, but the gold and silver has me hooked today, you guys. It does. Anyways, leave me a comment down below and tell me which one is your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> tell me which one you like best, whether the gold or the silver. <laughs> and remember, like I said, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button so be part, you'll become part of our Glamster team. And don't forget to hit the bell. So be notified every time I upload another DIY to share and thank you so much for clicking on today's video to see the DIY that I had to share with you guys and remember as always stay blessed from Petal is Blessed and I will catch you on the next one bye bye everyone <laughs>